Hey, Aaron, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. You look phenomenal since your therapy. I'm super excited to talk to you. I feel phenomenal too. Thank yeah, you. That, that's great. Appreciate well, it. well, we just wanted to talk today and and have you tell your story. You wanted to to let everyone know how, how you're doing and and what led you to us. So, can you tell us a little bit about your journey from being diagnosed with MS to uh, to sure. where you are today? Uh, Thirteen years ago, I I well, I, I should start before that. I had um. Two weeks before my diagnosis, I had this strange headaches, abnormal headaches. I don't usually have headaches. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had some headaches in my over my eye, my my um, my right side, and I didn't think too much about it because I was a healthy 31 year old. I thought I just had some headaches, maybe working too much or whatever the case may be. Um, one and then two weeks after my first headache, I woke up and I, I had I lost my eyesight basically in both eyes. Oh, and it happened from just from that phase, it's just like that. I had eggs for two weeks, and then I woke up and um, I, I couldn't see. So thank goodness I had Ken next to me, my partner next to me, and I woke him up and I said, Ken, I can't see. He took me to the emergency room, and I was pretty quickly diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at that point. 31 years old, um, yeah, 13 years ago. Um, very, very scary basically healthy 31 year old when I go to bed I wake up and I lost my eyesight in both eyes <clears throat> Ken brought me to the emergency room at our local hospital here in, New in Massachusetts and they um, put me on a high heavy uh, dosage of solimedrol of heavy steroid mm -hmm. calm down any inflammation and um, within five days after that I had my eyesight completely you know back to normal but with a you know with a heavy burden on my with a new diagnosis of multiple sclerosis so I learned a lot about my body at that point like I kind of listened to my body differently from that point forward I I, <clears throat> I didn't let things go you know also did a lot of research and investigation on MS and what it was and how how it happens you know certain things to know about <clears throat> I listened to my body differently I in the 14 years have tried four different medications um, each for a period of you know two or three years at a time. Where I used to fall in trip if I was really fatigued, but most of my um, my issues are with my eyesight and my hands and my and my upper body. So that was th those are those are my my biggest complaints and also the biggest thing I, uh, that I never really could really grasp and learn how to learn how to manage is my fatigue because I was again a young 31 year old person who. That's it, you know, forever from there going forward has has changed. My life was changed from that point forward. And, and how'd you find uh, NSI? My my mother was um, had was diagnosed with cancer five, five years ago. She's since passed away, but my father was just a, a really huge advocate for her and her health care. And he would take whatever the the doctor would say to her, and he would just do his own research and be his own his own you know medical right. professional per se, and really just try to do it you know reach for anything that would, can help her externally. And he he has done research on um, natural natural path you know self medication um, stuff like that also on stem cells. That's how we found NSI from my father doing that research and sending us the articles and other testimonials from patients. But when I chose to go to NSI, I had, you know, I really went with my dad's recommendation and my husband's recommendation. And can you just tell everyone a little bit about the process coming in and the procedure itself? Yeah, I was, I, um, I, I knew a few things. I, I, know I knew some basic things, you know, the cost and, you know, it was going to be a, a day procedure. I knew I had to fly from Boston to Tampa. Um, those are the things. I rented a hotel, all that fun stuff. But I, when I walked into NSI, I was nervous the night before because we came in from Boston. And the night before, I was nervous. I was, wasn't sure what to expect. And I'm like, you know, I, I didn't really, have, you know, ask enough questions or understand it. But when I got into that office, I just felt comfortable. All the, everybody there was just made me feel like it was going to be okay without doing anything but just being warm and comforting. So when I got there and I got to meet you, it was kind of like it, it just felt right and it felt good. And I was definitely felt that I was in the right place. Um, so I was happy about that. And then through that process, once I got brought into the, you know, to the patient room, to the, you know, the prep room and all that fun stuff, um, there was no doubt. I, I mean, I was, I, I so such a sense of gratitude for everybody there, all, all of you, you know, the, the doctor and everybody, you know, everybody who's helped through that process, from answering the phones to, you know, to the to the discharge process. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And and since the procedure, how are you feeling? 
Um, I can't describe how I'm feeling because I'm feeling so amazing. And I'm, I'm unfortunately I have a summer cold of, of allergies and the summer cold, but I feel outstanding. I, I, I wrote a laundry list of my wish list of things after I got this procedure, what I would, what I would wish to be fixed, you know, okay. and that was just more of my, you know, when you live with something for 14 years, it becomes your norm. So I would never complain about my MS or complain about, you know, my fatigue or complain about my hands every morning. I wake up and I use my hands for 20 to 30 minutes because they're, they're both completely numb. I would never complain about it because that was just the norm and that was what I accepted as my new life. And, you know, um, but I'm grateful for my father for doing the research, my my husband for supporting me, and you guys for helping me through it. Because since I've never felt this great, I can't remember even before my MS that if I felt this great. Um, I wake up now, my hands are completely fine. They're normal. They're, they, there's no numbness. Um, I I have no fatigue. I Not only do I not have any fatigue, I just have an energy that I didn't even know that was inside me. <clears throat> Ken said to me last night, I was planting flowers. He's like, are you going to stop? Because I'm really tired. I'm like, no, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I'm almost afraid that if I stop, it's not going to, it's going to go back to how it was. So I want to, you know, um, but I, I have so much energy. I have no fatigue. Um, I just, I wake up happy. My dogs bark to go out in the morning. I would never be able to get up out of bed and go let my dogs out because it would take me around 30 minutes to be trying the time I opened my eyes to the time I was able to actually function. Um, yeah. Normally, I hate to sure. say that, but now my dog barks and put my two feet on the ground. I go right out to right out to let them out outside, and it's that's just something so simple, but it's just such a you know such a treat, you know such a really when it's so I feel I feel so different, um, and I I always had a positive attitude. I really think a positive attitude helps with it, um, but I I I can't complain. You know, I don't complain about my hands being numb because they're not numb. I'm not complaining because I'm fatigued because I'm not fatigued. My Fitbit's clocking double the steps that I was taking when I was before. My before and after, are literally, I'm doubling my activities. That's fantastic. And I'm forever grateful. I want to. I, I um. You know, I, I want to sing my. I never wanted to talk about my MS before because I didn't want it to define me and I didn't want it sure. to. Um. I didn't want it to be my life. You know but now I don't want to stop talking about it. You know, Ken wants me to get a t-shirt that says quiet, please stem cells at work because it's <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, yeah. so glad you're doing so well, uh, you know, continue to do the right things, stay active, yeah. continue to, to push yourself, eat the right things. I'm still drinking the, the amount of water and I'm keeping that the same diet. I think that has a huge help on it too. You know, the doctor really, you know, just said, now we have this, now we have to treat my body you know that well and i'm really right. i'm really following that and it's making it i think that's making a good difference as well just you know excellent well, i you appreciate have, that definitely well we appreciate you and and uh, you know giving us the opportunity to share your story mm -hmm. and if you had anything to say to anyone out there that's looking and researching oh. and and uh, you know trying to grasp you know any hope that they can oh. yeah know, We'd love to hear what you'd have to say to them. I, I just, I, I want to, you know, and I was going through it like, what do you have to lose? You know, it, it's, you're already at this point. What do you have to lose? It's just such a huge change. Don't think about it. Don't, you know, um, no, no, don't think about it, but don't spend too much time thinking about it. Our bodies and our health are, we only have one chance to do it. So if there's something, anything little that can make you feel better, you know, I hope, I hope they, uh, find a way to, to get get there to end that side to do it because it's just truly truly amazing nice. I, I'm, I'm so grateful so grateful and I, I guess I want to scream my story on top of out to everybody so I, I hope I um, I hope I can talk you know not talk some encourage someone to try it as well because it's there's no need to to settle for for, for the, their norm, you know. Thank yeah. you so much. You take care. Right, I know you've got a busy day at work, so. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Thanks. All right. Be well.